Grinders, it's your boy Pokinger back on the grind. Guys, I have some crazy stuff to show you from last night. Um, I'm very, very tilted and I have to show you these two spots, okay? Um, table one, we're going to show you real quick here. This is another heads up. You guys keep seeing me get heads up in tournaments. And I want to show you that uh, we have a chance here to uh, come back and win a tournament. We got pocket aces here. We're 32 big blinds. We go for a three bet. This guy jams. He was jamming like crazy. He's got pocket sixes and he flops a six. So we get another second place finish in a tournament. We'll, we'll look at that uh, payout in a second. But this isn't why I'm showing you the video. You guys got to see what I'm about to show you. Okay. That was a $50 uh, Battle Royale. Um, we roughly got, uh, I don't know, $600. Okay. Table. Let's see. This is going to close here. This table here, okay, this is a $100 bounty series. This tournament series I just told you guys I was looking forward to play. This is one of the biggest ones for the entire series. I think it's the third highest paid one they have for this series. It's 40000 guaranteed prize pool. We had something about 500 and something players. I am second of 14, so we're in a good position here to, uh, you know, win some big money here. Um, I want to show you here. I'm just going to speed it up because I'm so tilted. This guy had a really big uh, bounty here. I went for a, a three bet putting on uh, pressure here. Um, these were some. So when you play bigger player pools, a lot of times when you get towards the uh, that final table, um, you get you run into a lot of softer players that um, don't usually make a final table. Like when you play 30 people, it's always the same people. But when you play these $500 ones, it's crazy where there's so much money on the line and you're getting in these dream spots where there's only a couple good players maybe left in the tournament. Um, anyways, let's just get right to it because it is juicy. And this is Arlie from PokerStars. Um, he had a, a really good spot here to make some money too. Super nice guy. If you guys don't know Arlie, I highly recommend you guys watch him on, on Twitch and uh, YouTube and all that. I, I definitely watch Arlie a lot. Um, super, super uh, uh, friendly guy and uh, a beast at playing poker. He's, he's crushing on tarot here. Um, let's just see here. We got pocket queens, pocket eights. Did I go full screen? Yeah, I did. I got to show you guys this spot. Okay, I think it's going to happen like next head. It's so tilting, guys. We are 6 of 12. I'm going to show you the prize pool after of what was on the table here. Okay, we have 10-3. I just want you to see it before I, I skip past it. Oh, here's the price pool. Uh, we'll look at it after. It is a big, juicy payout. Um, we're 6 of 12, but I'm really liking who's in uh, the remaining 12 players. Um, you know, we have uh, a couple solid regs and, and uh, a pretty pretty soft field here for, for this big payouts. Arlie jams it there. Okay, guys, we're 37 big blinds, 8-9, obviously easy fold. Sorry to build a suspense, but I didn't know exactly when this happened. I just know it's soon. Tanking on the big blind, I guess maybe just not paying attention because it's not too rare you're going to tank on the big blind here when you can just check. Yeah, another second place in that other tournament sucked too. Guys, ace queen, look at that. I instantly jammed 36.9 big blinds. There is not one hand in poker I would ever open jam here. What happened was I misclicked. I was standing up to play, taking a break from sitting down for so long. This was late at night and I was getting extremely tired. So I use hotkeys on my keyboard. I decided to stand up. I'm playing in the dark. I get a hand that I was looking down to raise and I hit my keyboard and I open jam 36.9 big blinds, ace queen. There's not one hand in poker I would ever do this with. If I was to do it with a hand, if I had to pick one, it would be pocket aces to maybe look like I'm weak. But I wouldn't, I would never, ever, ever, ever do this play. 
So I'm freaking out thinking there's no way I just did a miss min click. Please don't have a hand out there that can call me. Right? Like you just and I did this within the first two seconds. That was real real speed there. This guy just jams, doesn't even think about it. Ace King suited. And I'm out of the freaking tournament. In a massive spot. So we come 12 spot, we get $274, $175 in bounties. And I just blew, like, these big spots in Ontario uh, client, uh, they just don't come too often. And plus, I'm not a hugely skillful tournament player. So for me to get to a final table like this, you know, I really got to capitalize. And I friggin' did a misclick. So I'm going to show you the full payouts here. So I'm out of the tournament. I was fucking flipping out. Let's close that. I'll show you guys this tournament. The guy that took me out won it. And he got... $3,880 for bounties plus $3,466 for the win. I don't know the freaking math on that. It looks like it's uh, 7000 7, plus uh, he won. Um, we were so close to make some good money in this one. It was just under $50,000 prize pool. And I punt it with a misclick. Um, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did it, guys. I'll show you the bankroll, but I just wanted to show you that from the last video, we were on a small decline just from all these buy-ins, but we're still in good shape here. We're at $44,574. Um, this tournament series is still going down. But look, if you go to all the prize pools, I, I put them in order. Um, we have a 75K one in, in March um, that hopefully I'll get a chance to play. Um, this other one, this was going to be the second biggest prize pool in this entire series. And I punted off with a misclick. We had 539 players. Get down to 12 and I do that. Um, not, not, not my brightest moment. Anyways, guys, I know it's happened to all poker players. Um, hopefully it doesn't happen again. Uh, hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.